This is the fuel injection um, electronic control unit from a Honda Beat, which is a little Japanese Kai car. It's a mid-engine two-seater convertible, three-cylinder engine, 656cc. They're a whole bundle of fun. I used to have a couple. Um, I've sold those on now as projects. Uh, but I repaired the um, the ECU in one of them, so I've been asked to look at a couple more. And this one is a particularly bad one. And if I zoom in down onto this part of the circuit board, you can see some bare copper there. That's where I've cleaned up the electrolyte that's leaked out of faulty capacitors. And you can see the footprint of three capacitors there, the large one centre of frame. Well, let's just see how deep I can get in here. But if you look around that upper pad you'll see that the track has completely dissolved away due to the electrolyte leaking and I'll need to uh, patch that. And If we move over uh, that capacitor still has all the the gunk, um, the corrosion from the uh, leaked electrolyte. Uh, there's a track just above, just where there's the break in the outline there, that's got a break in the track. Uh, we've got a break in the track on the bottom pad of that capacitor. And there's a capacitor up here. Now that one was okay. The You could see signs of the electrolyte having leaked out of the base of the capacitor, but it hadn't yet made it to the circuit board. And there's two more capacitors down here. And again, the circuit board's fine underneath them. Uh, but there was signs of corrosion starting on the leg of the capacitor, so they would have given trouble eventually. But we are... This has taken quite a long time to um, scrape off the corrosion because the board has been conformal coated. You can see the shine on that single inline package there. So that's like a lacquer and the electrolyte gets underneath the lacquer and then the green um, is a solder resist mask that just exposes the the pads and that sells for solder um, and it gets under the solder resist and tracks along and it'll also um, start eating into the uh, the legs of the components around so I've still got quite a bit of clean up and then some repairs and then new capacitors to install and then hopefully this will be a happy ECU again